Whether you are new to streaming, a seasoned podcaster, or just want to have really crisp audio when it comes to making your voiceovers, whatever type of creator you are, you know the importance of having a good mic. And today I have an audio system that I'm so excited to share with you guys and give you really high quality sound for a budget friendly price point. Hi everyone, if you're new to my channel, my name is Paula and today we're going to be talking about the Fine Fine SC3 mixer as well as the Fine Fine AM8 dynamic microphone. Now, this is obviously not our first rodeo with microphones on this channel, nor is it the first Fine Fine product that we've talked about. So I'm very honored that Fine Fine actually reached out and sent me this set since this is my first time working with a sound mixer. Having a really good microphone has been something that I've been willing to invest and explore just for my stream setup at home. So I'm excited to get into this with you guys. So let's get started. From the beginning of this video, you guys have seen me use this microphone and this is the AM8 dynamic mic from Fine Fine. This mic does come in black, pink, and white and all the price points are pretty much the same, setting you back a whopping $54.99 right now on Amazon. Right off the bat, obviously the biggest appeal to this is that attractive price point. You don't often come across a high quality dynamic microphone for just a little over $50. And it's also sold on Amazon, which makes it pretty convenient if you are a frequent Amazon shopper. The mic comes with the mount already attached to it. And it also comes with its own mic stand, which is really nice. Much like the K688 that we've reviewed in the past, the mic has an overall metal build. All the screws and the buttons feel pretty tactile and it's been holding up really well since the last couple weeks that I've been using it. One of my favorite things about it is obviously this cool RGB at the bottom. It does actually give you the option to change it so I can change colors depending on what I want my theme to be. I think the best one is the nice rainbow effect that kind of just rotates around. You can turn this off just by holding it down and have no RGB. Apart from that, we also have the mute and unmute button, which you can just tap to use. It turns red when it's muted, green when it's unmuted. On the back here, we have your gain control as well as your headphone volume. If you wanted to hear yourself while you're speaking into the microphone, there are headphone jacks on the bottom. Since this is a broadcast microphone, this mic is capable of being used with XLR as well as USB-C, which is nice because it gives you both compatibility options depending on what equipment you use. Right now I'm speaking into it using the USB-C cord. So this is the sound quality of what that is like. XLR is supposedly gonna give you more crisp, clear sounds, which we are gonna test out later. Of course, one of my favorite things about Fine Fine products is that there's no software needed. They're all just plug and play. And that goes for both the mics and the mixer. For the next item that we're gonna be talking about, we have the SC3 mixer from Fine Fine. And I have it right here here without plugging it in this is what it looks like this is my first time ever working with a mixer so bear with me if i am explaining this in extremely layman terms this gaming mixer is what you use to control your audio in stream while you're gaming. For example, if you are playing music, you can control the volume of the music versus the sound of your voice when you're in game, as well as even having custom sounds played back, voice changers, and even an auto tuner on this thing. So let me show you a little bit about what the functions are on the SC3 gaming mixer. So we now have set up the SC3 and the AM8, and we're using an XLR cord. Hopefully you can hear a slight bump in quality versus USB-C, at least that's what it's supposed to have. As I mentioned earlier, we have all the color effects up here. We have the voice changers here, which we're gonna test out in a little bit. Custom buttons for custom sounds that you want to record and play back. All the mutes for, depending on what you're connected to, so the mic, line in, headphones, and line out. And of course the auto-tune feature, which is pretty self-explanatory. So. The way I have this all here is if I lower the volume here on the mixer, it should obviously lower the way it sounds in audio in the video. So I'm gonna turn that all the way back up again just to have normal video. Line in, I don't have anything plugged in right now, but that's if you're playing music, that's how you're gonna control the volume of that as well. Um, headphones, if you are listening to yourself, while you're recording into the mic and of course the mixer, that's how you're gonna hear it and control the volume for what you're hearing. And then line out, uh, to be honest with you, I have not played with this yet, 
but that is one of the adjustments that you can make as well to your audio. That being said, let's go ahead and demo the voice effects, which is always fun. So this should now be the male voice, uh, male voice on the SC3. This is now the female voice, which I believe this one sounds a little bit more like chipmunk to me, but we do have other ones to go through. So this is the female voice. This next one here is robot, so robot voice on the SC3. I wish I had something to read over and over again, but I do not have anything pulled up. This next one here is monster, so monster voice effect. And let me know if this sounds accurate to what you imagine a monster sounds like. Next one here is baby. I don't remember how this one sounds, but I think it is a little bit squeakier than the female voice. So this is the baby voice. And lastly, my personal favorite. Elder is my personal favorite out of all of these. I think this is, if I were to use a voice effect, this one I would have a lot of fun with trying out. So this is the elder voice. To turn all that off, you just have to hold down the change voice button and that deactivates the voice effects. Over here on the top of the SC3, we have the input jacks. And this is actually where you would use an XLR cord. If you are planning on using a mixer with your microphone, you do want to go ahead and purchase an XLR cord, which is what I did in order for me to be able to use them together. Other inputs include your headphone, line in for your external music, and a headset in case you wanted to again hear yourself as you're talking. The only drawback to the line in is for someone like me who's been trying to find a way to play music in stream. The only way for me to have an external audio source for my music is to attach it with this jack here. So I'm assuming that I can only play music using my phone, for example, plug it in directly to the mixer and bada bing bada boom, that's how you're gonna have music while you're in stream. Let's go ahead and test all of these out together and show you what they sound like. Okay, so I now have my audio coming into my mic and then my mixer is here. I can adjust the volume. So let's see, Kelvax is home. So use Shinga Deathwalker Spirit Powder to take Kelvax ancient, repaired, and pristine phylacteries. So I need one of those. Kelvax's soul will be bound to three phylacteries. What? Phylacteries? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Protected by his voodoo. Even if you destroy him, just, he just be reforming in them. May old power be returned and after you lit them torches, I be able to enchant this powder that allow you to go through Kelvax's voodoo. Is this like, is this like a Scottish, Irish accent that I'm doing? <laughs> Find these phylacteries and bring them to me. We're gonna look Kelbax in the eye and we destroy them. I should warn you, this powder might be messing with your head. You might have some visions if you use it. Be careful. I got uh, hunt for Ah! Yes, anyway. Did I get it? No. No, it's not even that. It's this guy. For real. Okay, I'm gonna call my bird. I'm just gonna turn in. Alright. I am listening. Continue. The lower are Complete strong. Quest. Oh, I leveled up. Hey. Have I been here before? I don't think I've been here before. No, I've probably been here before because this is where my quest was. Alright, here you go. Show me your coin. Last you will thing. never find a better deal. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm stupid. Okay. Yay. Complete quest. I will be seeing you. Anyways, this is where we are right now. So this is my test of the mic. So hopefully that all powered through okay. So I'm gonna review the clip and then close my final thoughts.
And that concludes our sound test of the Fine Fine AM8 dynamic microphone using the SC3 gaming sound mixer. It's my first time ever working with a sound mixer, so there is a little bit more of a learning curve for me. But overall, for a price point of $100, you already get a mixer as well as a really great microphone. In my opinion, it has the look and feel of a fancier setup. So it's nice that it comes at such an attractive price point. Thanks again to our friends at Fine Fine for sending these over. I really enjoyed trying them out. If you guys are interested in checking either or both of these items out, I will leave links in the description down below. Thank you guys again for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.